Hey guys, back from another video here. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted one. I mean, it was like four days, and I meant to do part two like two days ago, and that didn't work out so great. And so, I'm gonna be talking about how the like the third part two, what I was talking about last time. Now I'm gonna be talking about more of the teams for like the 2021-22 off season, stuff like that. Um, how the season will be going and stuff like that. So next I'm going to so start off the part 2 season, I will be going, starting off with Colorado Avalanche how they're like stuff is going on. And so like they don't they don't have Blue Bauer anymore, Seattle got him, signed a contract, stuff like that um, as well. Um, they do have Darcy Kemper now, they do have Kemper, um, okay decent, goalie Colorado is going to have so good. As a lot of people were thinking in the off season, and that didn't work. I don't know what's happening. They still have McKinnon, Linus Cup. Um, they have my still in the car. They still, um, they still have a bunch of other good players. I think it's a goal issue on um, Kemper. He's not doing that great, as a lot of people were saying. Um, stuff like that. Um, so yeah. Um, I forgot to guys tell you today. Um, I'm gonna be doing this video. Pretty short, not so long because um I was um homesick and yeah I couldn't like like I was sick today and I couldn't go to school because I had a pretty bad cold so I stayed home today and I'm not feeling that great right now and so I'm gonna be posting this video very short so yeah and so like I was talking about Colorado they do have Bo and Byron playing playing um a good rookie i mean bone byron as everyone likes it bone byron was one of the best rookies he, and so was north cider um dawson mercer for the new jersey devils and rookies like that and colorado was also the rookie face off so bone byron was also there in there stuff like that and yeah and so I was just talking about Darcy Kemper. He isn't, he's good, but he has to have that full, 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 full time in job experience. He hasn't won a cup yet, like Blue Bauer has. Um, um, but Pablo Francos, I'm still questioning about Francos. It's been a while since I've seen him play in action. He didn't play at all last season. And we're still questioning about that. So that was a big question right right there um that's all i'm going to talk about for colorado that's the colorado has been big in the off season and so yeah oh, also they did get they don't have connor tibbins anymore who went to arizona as well they don't have um i forgot his name i totally forgot but um it was a player that's now with Colorado. I mean, sorry. I'm now with Arizona. Got his name. But yeah. And so now I'm going to be moving on. Columbus. And Columbus has been big. They have Jake Bean. They have Jake Borchuk. They have. You name it. Got him Bo Quist. They just got told so many players. It's incredible how I'm just seeing um, all these all these players going to these all different teams and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and Jacob Borachek, who's been doing pretty decent with Borachek as his past off season. So, yeah. Um, they did sign Cappies and Boone Jenner. Jenner. I'm questioning, why don't they have Barrett? And they don't have Seth Jones anymore? Which, who went to Chicago? And I've already talked about that and stuff like that. Um, and so, um, so like Columbus has been looking very great this past season. Quite a, like I think like four games, no, um, I think three games already this season. Um, so yeah, that's for the Blue Jackets. And like I was saying, Jacob Borchak has been looking pretty decent now. Um, Jake Bean got his first goal as a Blue Jacket a couple days ago. Coastal Linger, his last game he played, he got his first goal 
Welcome to the NHL Cole Slinger with this first goal for the NHL. Let's go, Cole Slinger. Cole Slinger was drafted this season, 2020-21 NHL draft. So he's now Blue Jackets. Yeah. Um, I'll say Boone General's captain. It's captain now. Um, I don't understand why they named Boone Jenner captain because um Jenner doesn't really seem like a captain for the Blue Jackets. They have other team team teammates on their team, other players, like for example for instance, Zach Wolinski, Oliver Bajorkstrand, other players like that. Um I'm just gonna throw this one in here. I know it's not like big one to be a captain for the Blue Jackets, but Gustav Nyquist, that could be a big solution. That could be a big, big possibility. But Boone Jenner, he's literally 28 years old, and you're going to name him Cap. <laughs> I mean, he's not that great, as some people say, like, yeah, and stuff like that. So I just think, like, I'm just going to say, okay, now Cap's now Boone Jenner, Boone Jenner, and now that I'm going to Cap, because I'm doing much better. I think he's doing much better this season than he did last season. Even though it's like three games, he's still doing really good. He's doing really great, and yeah. Next, moving on to the um, Dow Stars. <laughs> I'm going to say Stars have been going rough time last season. I don't know what happened there. Um, I don't, this is what I usually call for a Stars nickname: the Rookie Team. Because they are bigger rookies, they really have a lot of rookies, keep Duranta, um, players, um, Peterson, that's a rookie that they've got this season. Um, other players, Delandria, and players like those. So yeah, nothing big really for Dallas, as they did lose to Milosiak, I think, I'm pretty sure Milosiak. Might be getting a bit Joel Hanley. Joel Hanley or Jimmy Lesiak went to Seattle Kraken. Or I might be wrong. Tell me in the comments, so please. Um, I'm not for sure. And so, yeah. Um, so now, um, I'm going to be moving on to the, um, Detroit Red Wings. Red Wings are all big. This is. Like, I see it. We were right wings going through everything this off season. They, my thing though, but Jacob Verona is not doing a good time. I mean, sorry. He is not going through a good time. He's injured. He's going to be out for a while. Verona, um, he has been amazing with the, um, trade ratings every, ever since he got from that trade 2021 NHL trade line with Mantha in it round picks but Verona going to the um Red Wings and so yeah um yeah that happened and also they have Mort Sider playing and um, Mort Sider is leading the team with most assists and so yeah Mort Sider is getting used to the NHL now and so yeah playing with the big boys um yeah and they also have other players like P.S. Suter I can't believe Pia Suter is now at the Red Wings. I'm just so shocked. I'm surprised. You guys tell me in the comments. You guys might sorry Dallas fans, but I'm going to say um, Pia Suter is better than Jacob Robertson. I mean, before Pia Suter, like in 2019-20, that season, Dominic Kubelik. Kubelik, incredible player. 2017-18, Alex Brinkett. Oh my goodness, he was so good. 2019-20. I mean, sorry, 2020-21. Pia Suter. Brandon Hague. Also, I'm not going to forget Brandon Hagel and Phil Kerchak. Those are also two other big rookies in that season. 2021-22. I'm, I'm just going to go out there. I'm saying NT Whistle. I'm going to say NT Whistle for this one. He has his first goal already in the NHL. And um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be talking about. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be ending this video short. Um, 
because um, I'm not I go to part three I will be talking more about the rivalry so make sure you hit that like button subscribe and leave a comment down below so see you guys later